Hey, it's Jeff from Home Renovision here today to talk about can you soundproof a metal roof? Might sound like an interesting question, but one of the number one complaints about metal roofing is the noise. Impact noise from rain and hail and sleet. You can get the decibel ratings of about 80, which is the equivalent of a freight train just a half a block away. It's a little bit ridiculous. So you'll find that a lot of the advantage of having a forever roof is really reduced if you have a, a loft kind of living or you live in a house where you vaulted the ceiling and there's not a lot of distance between you and that actual roof surface. All you've got is a two by eight and then you've got your roof and then the metal's right there. The other problem is sometimes if the metal roof isn't installed correctly, every screw has to be tightened just so, so that during the wind, the, it's not wobbling around and causing that crazy warping sound. All right, so before we get too far into this video, I wanted to remind you that our friends over at Trademark Soundproofing have made an amazing deal available for everybody who's watching this. It's in the video description. They've got 10% off all their soundproofing materials. Now they're doing everything that you could possibly imagine in the world of soundproofing. So I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but if you need something, then go get it from there, help support our channel. And if you wanna see some of those other options, click the link up here. It's a demonstration how to soundproof like a stay-at-home office. Awesome, now let's jump back into the information. We'll see you on the other side. So on my house, the farmhouse project I'm on, I've been out researching roofing and looking at the metal versus the architectural shingle. And although the metal is really attractive because I like the idea of buying a roof once and getting it done, I have no intention of living here forever. <laughs> and secondly, being way out in the country, Installing a metal roof at this house, really it's a cost benefit. I don't know if I'm gonna get the benefit because when I'm looking at the architectural shingle world, they're now, they're selling a 50 year roof. <clears throat> so for me, getting a metal roof is not on the list. But if you live in a different kind of climate than I do, having a metal roof definitely in the south or in real windy areas makes a lot of sense. But don't be a victim of the metal roof noise. Remember, when you're paying for a roof, it's a process, there's an assembly. And if you add this one simple step to the assembly, you can have the quietest roof in the neighborhood and make all of your neighbors jealous. So if you've seen my roof, you realize, and I'll let you have a look at the footage right now, my roof is in horrible condition. It is what I call an emergency to get repaired. And as a result of that, I've actually got a crew coming out here next week to put a new roof on. But if when I was looking at the cost benefit analysis between the architectural shingle and the metal roof, one of the benefits that was really interesting was a metal roof, you don't need to remove the shingles. And this old roof has got two layers of shingles on it. So it actually costs a lot of money to have someone come in here and do that removal because my pitch is 12-12. My roof is on a 45 degree angle, which makes it really hard to walk on even in perfect conditions. So I'm already paying a premium for labor and I'm able to get a new architectural roof for less cost than metal. It's disappointing, I was hoping to get a metal roof, but the reality is my house is not in perfect condition and putting a metal roof from the top right down to the bottom, I'm gonna have some bows and that sort of thing and it's just not gonna come out looking as pretty as you'd like it to. The only way to avoid tightening the metal down and getting all those wrinkly creases is to go to the, um, uh, the next grade up of quality and that price point just gets ridiculous for this particular house. And, or the other way is they're gonna cheat and they're not gonna fasten it tight and then it's just gonna be whack, whacking around in the wind and be a real problem. So what we do when we're taking a look at a metal roof for killing the sound, because honestly, it's the only drawback. I mean, if you want a metal roof, you get a return on your investment. It holds its value really well. The only drawback is the inconvenience of having to live in it. So. What we're gonna do, I got a little mock-up here of what a roof looks like, right? And I'm just gonna demonstrate the one extra step that none of the guys that were trying to sell me a metal roof even talked about, and shame on them, because if I'm gonna be investing 20 grand on a roof, I'm cool with going to 22 or 23 if I can solve the noise problem. So think about this. All they gotta do is buy a few rolls of the mass-loaded vinyl Get an idea where my hole needs to be here. You're gonna see how easy this stuff is to work with. Is there any material in the world that's that easy to work with? I don't know. Okay, throw it on my roof. 
Fasten it down with some galvanized nails. Okay. And then when you want to get the really good seal for around the, the pipe, we can go like this. <laughs> it just doesn't get much easier than this, eh? This is the most difficult obstruction on the roof, and it's solved with just a few seconds. There we go. Now, just a few seconds, you've got your entire roof covered in a quarter inch vinyl mass that totally eliminates impact noise. You could pour a dump truck of marbles on this metal roof after it's all finished, you'd never hear a thing. Now, generally, after you've got this, the roofing crews will come along and they're gonna strap your roof, right? And they're gonna come along. And when that's all done, they're gonna run the metal all the way down and they're gonna screw into it. And they're gonna use something like this. Okay, this is the kind of screw they're gonna use. It comes with a gasket on it, all right? And it tightens down and it grates real positive contact with the metal to the wood strapping. That creates a really nice air barrier in here. So the question is, just as a little side note, I know it's not about soundproofing, but would you nail the wood into the roof or would you screw it in? What good is screwing the metal to the wood if the wood isn't screwed in also? Because this can still be lifted up in the wind. Think about it. <laughs> anyway, when it comes to soundproofing, never cheap out because most soundproofing has to be done as part of the assembly. You can't do it afterwards. You don't want to soundproof the house from the inside if you've got a chance to do it from the outside. Installing the vinyl mass only takes minutes. Tearing apart the inside of your house to soundproof the roof after the fact will cost you tens of thousands of dollars. This is only a hundred and something bucks a roll. Does a couple hundred square feet, just saying. <laughs> anyway, if you'd like to see some other soundproofing ideas, make sure you check out the link Okay, and we'll see you again in the next video. Don't forget to ask your questions. Give us a like if you learned something today. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.